Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the crib. This place is a mess. Taking my shelves down. So there's just figures absolutely everywhere. It's it's disgusting. Anyway, today it's exhumed seven. Let's check out what we got. Exhumed seven, bro. Here we go. We got another pop-up parade figure. This time it is Aqua from Konosuba. Aqua! You could only imagine why I had to have her. Another piece from Pop-Up Parade, we have the Pop-Up Parade L Ryuko Souvenir Jacket Player. That's why I chopped him off, dipshit! Let's hope it's not an L. Dipshit! The new 3D VHS from Culture Fly. Friday the 13th Part 3, dude. So basically, it looks like a little VHS. I've got a couple of old ones from McFarland. Dude, it looks sick as hell. It's a lot smaller than the McFarland ones, but... I'm excited to get into that one. The Glitter and Glamour's Makima from Chainsaw Man, bro. She's pointing. I don't like when Makima points. Desktop Cuties of Beto. Des desktop Cute, excuse me. Desktop Cute, um, ver. And another Chainsaw Man figure, the Exceed Creative Chainsaw Man. Brothers, we got a lot to get into today, so let's go. Let's start with Jason. The new 3D VHS movie poster statue from Culture Fly. Bro, this thing looks sick as hell. In case y'all didn't know, I'm a massive Jason fan. For God's sakes, I got an entire arm dedicated to him. So you know I had to pick this up when I saw it come across. It looks cool as hell, but it's definitely smaller than I thought it was going to be. Hell, here's my actual part three VHS. We'll do a better comparison later. But for now, let's get them open. Has the blood drips for the freaking poster, dude. Dude, it's super freaking cool, man. Blood effects come on this runner. Let's pop them on right quick. Whew. Bro, I finally got them on. That blood drip from the knife was a little difficult and finicky to get in there, but damn it, I got it. It's sick, nasty, man. In comparison with my actual Friday the 13th Part 3 VHS. Yes, it would be cool as hell it had the white and the film pictures on the back of it, but you know, what can you do? It's still a very sick piece to have. I love the clear plastic on the shower curtain here. Dude, this is a sick ass piece and is a must have for any Jason fan. Love the details in the lettering. The blood effects being on a runner, that's really cool. Yeah, I wish that part three was as big as these. Here we have the new 3D VHS up next to my McFarland 3D movie posters. Bro, those are old as hell and I'm so glad I still have them. So they look sick as hell together. Pop-Up Parade Aqua, bro, from Konosuba. Yeah. I've never sat down and watched it. I've only seen the important parts. And there the Crip goes again, buying figures from shows that he knows nothing about. But damn it, I'm supporting it by supporting the buying the shit for it. Y'all know why I bought the figure. Booty! I gotta see it. Oh my god. Whew, sorry. And here we have Aqua out of the packaging, and bro, she's cute as hell. I love all the blue, man. I love all the blue. Wait a minute. Yes, I love all the blue that comes on this Aqua figure. Blue base, blue hair, blue, blue balls. Disgusting degeneracy aside. Nah, man, she's cute as hell. As always, Pop-Up Parade absolutely nails the painting and sculpt work. The blue that is in her hair, bro, it blues me away. You're a f***ing idiot. Whoa, she is wearing underwear. But not where it counts. Makima. Damn it, Makima. We got the Glitter and Glamour's Makima. I've reviewed some Glitter and Glamour's figures before. Hell, back at Exhum 5, we looked at the Glitter and Glamour's Lum. And that figure was amazing. So I expect Makima to follow in suit. Punk ass Makima. And here we have the Glitters and Glamour. What, what was it called? Glitter and Glamour's Makima. Damn it, bro, when she's pointing. I hate when she points. Um. That doesn't look like fan art. No, bro, I'm just kidding. The size of the figure is fantastic. I think the colors are a little lacking. It's very muted. I don't know, that's accurate, isn't it? Isn't her hair supposed to be that muted pink red color? I don't know, I definitely like the lung better. You. 
Sculpting looks great. Definitely liking here. They've been bullshitting, apparently. Long ass shoes. That's a pretty big feet. This statue's nice, bro. I love the size of it. A quick comparison with my other Glitter and Glamour's statue. We got the Glitter and Glamour's love. Love the scale of these figures. I definitely want more of them. Susan, get my pants. The desktop cute. Albedo. Bro, she is cute. Again, another Albedo from the anime Overlord. Yeah, isn't it great? And I still have not... <laughs> Given it a watch and know not really anything about it. But that doesn't matter, cute ass anime girl. Great. And yes, desktop cute is a great way to describe this figure. Good God, look at the squish on that. You do it to damn. Lord, love the purple translucent tips in her hair. They look great. I absolutely love her face, love her expression. Bum, 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 love that tiny little tooth. Love this twist at her abs, goodness gracious. Love, love that for some reason, I don't. For the price that you paid for the figure, this, this one's absolutely sick. Love the details in the wings and just, God, that squish, bro. Yes, we can look under it. And there we go, of course. The XC Creative Chainsaw Man from Fur You, bro. It looks like a good one, fingers crossed anyway. Dude, this thing is sick, nasty. I've been drinking. <laughs> Bro, this is one of my favorite Chainsaw Man figures I own. Bro, this piece is awesome, man. I was not expecting this figure to go that hard, but hey, it's in the name, Exceed. Dude, I love the cream on the shirt. I love the expression. I love the face. But if it had blood. Blood. If it had blood, bro, it just, it put it on a whole new level. Taking a closer look, dude, look at this translucent red shattered glass base. Oh my god, are you Batman? <laughs> Very cool. Big honking feet into the black slack. Open chested dingy. That pull cord is massive, by the way. The chainsaw blades. Yes, they're sharp. I love his hands. Just love the details in the hands. Love the wishy wishy of his shirt. Whoosh thing! And that leads us to the mechanical detail on his neck. Dude, that is awesome. The teeth. That venom ass tongue. The glowing eye. This is a very sick ass figure for you. I'm very impressed. Let's compare him to the last Chainsaw Man statue I looked at. And here he is next to the Bandai Spirits Chainsaw Man. And bro, it's night and day. What was the price check on those figures? <laughs> Christ the Lord. Oh my goodness. If you gotta spend your $30 somewhere, you spend it right here. Here we have the Pop-Up Parade El Ryuko Souvenir Jacket version. Gold jacket, green jacket, who gives a shit? Like I said before, bro, the Pop-Up Parade L is just a massive ass Pop-Up Parade statue. Which sounds good on paper to me, bro. No L this time. And here we have the Pop-Up Parade El Ryuko Souvenir Jacket. Shit. Bro, she's sick and tall, large. Excuse me, I'm vile. This L statue definitely ain't no L. Painting and sculpting is fantastic. Like they said, bro, it's just a pop-up parade that's large. And as I said that, look at, look at that. Looks like the paint missed the sculpt by this much. Let's go on the other side. Not that big a deal. Who cares? I don't care. I don't even, I don't even care. Bro, her shoes. Her shoes are sick nasty. Pleating on the skirt is awesome. Details in the jacket, except for that one, are great. Rocking her sailor suit under, of course. Printing on the jacket is awesome. Yes, it's up under there. Love that it's taken straight from the series and not just some generic color. And the head sculpt, bro. Look at those eyes, the smirk. She looks great. And here we have the Pop-Up Parade L Ryuko up next to my regular Pop-Up Parade Ryuko. And dude, they look fantastic together. A great addition to any Kill a Kill collection. Yeah, bro, I wish all Pop-Up Parades were this scale. Now, with that said, the price is a little different. Let's get everybody back together. They get to love. 
And here we have everybody back together. And bro, I think it's a pretty sick haul today. There's definitely not a stinker in the bunch. Makima, maybe. I don't know. Makima's definitely the worst figure of the day. And pretty tight race between the Fur You Chainsaw Man and the Pop Up Parade Ryuko. I don't know, man. Which one do y'all like better? The Fur You Chainsaw Man definitely wins the biggest surprise of the day. Aqua and Balbedo are pretty par for the course. The Part 3 movie poster is a sick ass edition, man. But it's definitely not the best figure you're here today. I don't know, man. I'm gonna give the edge to Chainsaw Man for being this badass a figure for that badass a price. Hell yeah, man. Chainsaw Man wins today. Let's get these two on the Chainsaw Man shelf and we can get the hell out of here. Yeah, I know. I'm out of room. <laughs> 